Hello, and Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming, where we are currently mining up some uh, coal here. I wanted to say gold, I'm mining up uh, coal at the moment. Uh, speaking of coal, looks like my uh, pile of coal here is pretty much out at the moment. Uh, we need to dig some more up, but before we uh, do that, Evan, let's head down to the shop here, get our new excavator headed up this way, and then we'll, uh, we'll start doing a little more digging here. I'm not entirely sure where the trucks are at. Um, oh, looks like they are right there, experiencing some technical difficulties on this truck's in the way. Okay, <laughs> get this uh, truck going here. There we go. Didn't realize that uh, truck was on the road in the way there. Okay, so yeah, for those of you who didn't see that last episode, by the way, we picked up a brand new to us excavator. Well, I guess it is brand new. It's not like used in the shop or nothing. Uh, we bought a Doosan. Um, oh, does it have numbers on it? Oh, here we go. Uh, a Doosan DX800 LC7. <laughs> No idea, but no idea. I am absolutely not familiar with that uh, brand at all when it comes to their uh, numbers, so not entirely sure what size excavator that is, but it looks like it's a little bigger than our current one, everyone. And I figured out, uh, let's give it a try here uh, before we uh, really step it up into the, the big boy excavators. This might not fit on this trailer. We might need a different trailer, everyone. We just might need a different trailer, I think. Yeah, I think she's going to fit right between the, uh, the the tracks there. What do you folks think? That is not going to work. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, hello inside the cab there. Uh, what do I have for extra trailers? And I should have thought of this. Evan. I did not think of that. Uh, that yes, that uh, is not going to fit on that trailer, is it? Uh, do we got any trailers in this category? Nope. How uh, about in this category? Nope. That's just a truck. That's also just a truck. Uh, any trailers? Nope. How uh, about here? Oh, yes. We do have a couple of trailers here. I don't think any of these are any wider though, right? Nope. Nope. That one we tried. That one, uh, I don't know if that would work with this excavator or not, but remember we tried that one. That, uh, just the, the way the game uh, unfortunately functions, I'm a not really good choice. It looks like that's about the same. Wow, how come we don't have any uh, wider trailers here, everyone? I, my goodness. Apparently I need to go look for some mods for some wider trailers. Well, that's the one's here. We might be uh we might be striking out. Maybe we should just uh how quick does this excavator drive? I hate to ask that. Four mile an hour. Yeah, no, I, I think we're gonna want actually is that really four mile an hour? It says four mile an hour, but wow. That is that is kind of slow, but just saying. That is slow. Slow loaders. Don't think I have any well, this one's wider. Nah, not really. Not wide enough, though, is it? This one... Does this one... I wonder if that one will fold out. It looks like it will, doesn't it, everyone? It has... And I'm not sure what these are called, I mean, but the uh, things along the side where they fold out and can hold wider uh, pieces of equipment looks like that might be our ticket. Let's give this a try here. When the Landall 845... I believe this is... Is it custom modding? I'd like to say custom modding, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, wheel cover. Mm, sure. Do snack flip up. Don't think we, uh, do we need that? Hmm. Cost another 24000 Wow, that seems kind of expensive, too. Uh, coupling system, three axle. Oh, that's if we want to do the third axle. Which, for the excavator, I think we would, right? Uh, wood. Nah, we should be good with that. Oversized signs. Yep, I think we're going to want some oversized signs on this one. Aluminum signs. I didn't see that change anything. So we got no flags. Aluminum signs. No idea. Aluminum signs plus flags. Yeah, don't know where the aluminum sign is coming from. I'm not seeing that. Uh, frame cover. Oh, okay. Interesting. Probably not. Wheel setup. Plus air system. Well, sure. Oh. Plus air system. Oh, the air system. That's probably just uh, connecting them together, isn't it? That's probably what that is. Uh, main color license. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Um, let's add the gooseneck, because why not? Uh, we got enough money for this. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of money. Plenty of money, everyone. Rolling in the cash here. Sort of. Wheel cover, sure. Frame cover, no. Oversized signs. Foldable oversized. I don't know what this is doing because it doesn't actually seem to be changing anything as far as bottom oversized sign. Okay. That's if you flip it over, I guess. 
Well, let's just do the, uh, we'll, we'll do the flags, I guess, because that actually seems to work. And that, those are the ones we had, right? We had the Continentals on the other ones? No, it's the HD3s. That's what we had on the other. Make sure we match our tire type here if we can. That would probably be advisable. Okay, let's, uh, probably, actually, to be honest, I think we're just going to get rid of this trail oven. I don't see a reason to probably keep this one anymore. We've been through, what, uh, three different trailers here on this uh, series here now so far. Trying to find a trailer that's actually going to work for our equipment. Yeah, we'll just uh, leave that one there. Ah, there we go. It does fold down. I was kind of wondering, like, how am I going to connect to that if it's folded up? But it does fold down when you connect it. Okay. Now, I am curious. There is two fifth wheel attachments there. So if I back in closer, will it let me attach to the other one? No. Okay. Okay, now I am kind of curious. What is the purpose of that, everyone? Okay, now we got our third axle on the back there. Which actually appears to lift it off the ground, so that middle axle is no longer rolling. Cool. Is there a way to adjust that at all? Okay, apparently that is adjustable there. <laughs> Who knew it was going to take this long just to get the uh, excavator on the trailer, have one? <laughs> oh well. Okay, now, can we, and the most important part of it, because this trailer obviously is still not wide enough, does it actually fold out? I probably should have checked this right away. Fold. Oh, that folds that up. That does not help. Actually, you know what? I probably need the middle part. Does that. It just goes up and down. Ah, uh, boy, I won this, uh... Okay, there's some sort of adjustment here. Oh, this is the uh, truck. I'm assuming that has that. I didn't even realize the truck would give me that adjustment. Okay, so all the way back or all the way. I think we're almost all the way back for. Probably uh, move that up about there. Sure. Uh, with that being said, well, we still got a problem here. I thought these side pieces looked like they would fold out. I am not seeing. Able to disable, higher, open, close hood. Yeah, I'm not seeing any options for this one. That's not looking good. Let's just disable that, or disconnect that back piece here a minute. So we still have the option to fold. What does it fold now? Well, it's making sounds, I mean, I don't know what it's folding, but it's making sounds. Yeah, but I don't know. Okay, so that will disconnect there, which that's what I expected. And then if we uh, reconnect our back axle here. There we go. Now, it's a little annoying our middle axle still up on the ground there. Anyway, it looks like this should fold out, doesn't it, everyone? Um, yeah, I don't see any options here, everyone, so... They've obviously got a model there, but they... Oh, okay. I might have to look into this tomorrow. Do these not fold out? You know what? I'm going to go check them. We're going to be right back because it looks like they should. Well, I went and uh, looked up the uh, trailer here, and at least on the uh, pictures on the uh, mod website, the official farming simulator mod website there, it does show these as being able to fold out or somehow they slide out, everyone. Uh, for the life of me, though, I cannot figure out how to get these to slide out. There is no key for them. There's nothing showing up. 
Uh, no mouse controls. Um, I went and looked through the shop again. Maybe I am missing something super obvious here, but I do not know how you get those side extensions to fold out, which is kind of annoying because, like, I mean, I, you know, again, I'm going to get in the truck here. Yes, the option to fold, but all it does is fold this back piece. And even when I, like, disconnect that back piece, I mean, it's still... They, they still don't fold out, right? So I don't know. Oh, let's actually shut this excavator off, by the way. So anyway, I just tossed it up there. When it, it, it's up there, right? So anyway, let's throw some straps on. I don't know if they'll make a difference. Actually, are there straps on here? Maybe there's no straps on here. I guess there isn't. Okay, well, hopefully it makes it up there, everyone. Uh, we're just going to take it up there and hope for the best. Uh, I, I don't know what else to do, everyone. I went and looked through the key bindings as well. and just see what's like. This is their hidden key binding. Uh, nothing that's showing up, everyone. So I have no idea. This does not look like it's going to stay on there, does it? Well, we'll see once what happens. I have mine sight. And go. And go. That's weird. Why is he not going? Yeah, that's really weird. I have mining sight. Uh, drive. Yeah, he's good. Go. What the heck? Okay. Uh, we might be driving this up here ourselves. Then I want to... Boy, this episode is just not going well, is it? Ah, then that thing's not staying on there, is it, everyone? It is not. You know what I can probably do? Let's... You know what we can do, everyone? Because it's an excavator. What if we do this? Put it on here sideways. And then, of course, we'll pivot it around. Whoa. Okay. Now it's going to stand. Really? Ah, my goodness. I'm getting less and less impressed with this trailer here so far. Uh, I thought it looked like it was a really good one in the shop. It is by custom modding, by the way. Um, this is uh, very, very unimpressive so far, to be honest. Have one. Okay, let's put that on there. We'll rotate it around. Put that down. Okay. Shut it back off. Definitely not right, but hey, hopefully it'll work. Now, why are you not driving? I do not know what's going on with that. Is, is, am I missing something here? No idea. Well, I guess we're going to be driving this ourselves here then, everyone. Uh, that's fine. It doesn't take more than a couple minutes to get up there. Yeah, that seems to be riding uh, much, much better that way, doesn't it? Still uh, really annoying, Evan. I do not know how to fold out. And uh, by the way, looking at the uh, the mod on the mod hub there, Evan, it, there was no explanation there either. Like some sort of custom control no that there, there was nothing it just and i forget how they worded it it says in the uh, description for the mod that it has the extensions that fold out of one but uh, again like i said you folks guess is as good as mine <laughs> actually maybe some of you folks have figured it out which uh, again if you have let me know what is the trick to get these to fold out because there's nothing showing up in the help there's nothing showing up in the key bindings uh there's nothing in the shop unless i'm completely missing it which is possible i guess that's probably seems to be the most likely thing i may be missing an option in the shop somewhere but i didn't go through all the shop options there again off camera here before i started recording this segment and now uh, it's like i'm not seeing nothing which again that one seems a little odd because like i said custom modding mod custom modding usually does a really good job with their mods which uh, visually i this this definitely has a really nice looking trailer uh, on the official farming simulator mod hub, by the way. So for those of you curious where this trailer comes from, it is on the official farming simulator mod hub. Or you can download it right through in the game. Okay, and that's as far as we're going to make it for some reason. Okay, then. Yeah, hauling this is going great, isn't it, one? Yeah, we're up as high as we can go there, aren't we? Well, but good thing we didn't uh, sell the other uh, trailer here yet. Uh, looks like we might need to be keeping that one here if we can't figure this one out. Yeah, you know what? Uh, the one possible I just thought of, and I wonder if it's something to do with the truck. No, really? Come on, now. why did you slip off this time?
Okay, let's see what's all that does. Oh, that's right. If you leave it on that one, then the tracks are running. Let me uh, go shut this back off here a minute. There we go. Oh, who knew it would be that much trouble? I'm just to get the excavator up to our mining site. We're almost there, by the way, for those of you wondering. So, yeah, well. We're almost there, everyone. Almost there. As long as we can keep it on the trailer anyway, that would be ideal. Um, I did try locking it, by the way. There doesn't seem to be any uh, locking, unless I'm missing something on this trailer here as well, boy. Um, Yeah, there's no locking option. Something our other trailer does, uh, obviously, uh, support and feature, by the way. Okay, well, when we have arrived here, and I'm kind of curious to see how this uh, compares to our current excavator. Again, I'm not familiar with the, the Doosan excavators here in comparison to, to what we you know currently have as far as size goes. It looks like it's maybe a little bit bigger, but... That's it, we're going off this way. Maybe not. Let's see what's here. Trying to get it off, everyone. Oh, come on now. There we, go. there we go, there we go, we got it off. Probably could have just picked it up, and that's how we put it on there, right? Just picked it up and put it on, but oh well. Okay, let's fold that up. I mean, this does hold, I think it was 10,000 liters, if I remember correctly, so it holds a little bit more. Speaking of what show, where is our other truck at? Because there should be two trucks, and there's only one here. Where's the other one? Oh, you're over here. Why are you over here? Oh, wait, is it full? I wonder if the train station's full. The train station might be full. Full, I bet. I bet it is, because it's only partially emptied, isn't it? Let's go check here a minute. Train station, I believe, holds 500,000 liters. Where is... No, you're not full. Close. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wonder if it's 400... Th well, that doesn't make sense. No, I don't know where that sand is at. Assuming that sand is in here. I wonder if it's a half a million combined with whatever else is in here. There might be sand in here. I am not sure. Turn this off here. It is not giving me the option to dump, is it? So that leads me to believe, Evan, this place is full. So maybe a combined capacity of a half a million? I don't know, Evan. I'm, I'm not actually sure on that one, to be honest. Oh, I'm doing a horrible job of driving here, aren't we? Yeah, it is not letting me dump, is it? Okay, well, let's uh, get the train uh, headed this way here, then. I knew we were getting close, Evan. I did not realize uh, we were that close. Oh, hey, there's the train right there. Probably going to pull forward and then I'll have to back up a little bit. In the meantime, back to our mining side. I don't want to get the excavator up to uh, where we're going to be digging here. And we did play around with the controls here a little bit last episode, everyone. It does seem like, and I could be wrong on this, it does seem like the controls are a little bit faster on this one. Or the, the speed of everything, anyway, maybe I should say. Uh, it does also have a slightly larger bucket. I believe that was 10,000 liters versus 6,000. So uh, we can fill these trucks. I think it was 50,000 these trucks hold, right? So we can fill these trucks in five buckets versus roughly the, what, eight? Or eight and a little bit more. Why this track's a little uh, small on the excavator, but I wonder how well this one uh, does on like rough terrain. Because our, our current one here, I've one, yeah, that uh, it's Komatsu, right? Yeah, Komatsu. No, that's right, not Komatsu, uh, Kabelico oven. Sorry, the uh, Kabelico excavator here. I was like, I know it starts with a K. Uh, the Kabelico here, I one, it does not do well. Yeah, it doesn't look like this one does well either. Now, and I don't know why that is, Evan. It does not do well on rough terrain. I was just forward or back. I just can't tell. Uh, wrong button. Is 
That is backwards. Watch action. Wait a minute. I'm going backwards. I'm watch action the right direction. The tracks are going. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. You know what? Let's just pick it up out here. That that'd be the easiest. You uh, come with me. I'll grab the buck here in a second. I like how the tracks are running, everyone, even though we're like, obviously not like moving, right? Yeah, we'll grab the bucket here as well. Then we'll just have to pick that one up and move it into place. That, that's pretty much, for those of you wondering what I've had to do here so far, when it's just the, the excavator and the tracks, they do not do well on this terrain at all for some reason. The, the tired of vehicles actually do better, which seems a little odd to me. I mean, I don't know why. Just uh, if something is not modeled right on these tracks or just that's the way the track vehicles are in the game. I really should like just try one of the track tracks and see what's how they do it any better or not. There we go. Get that bucket back on there. Okay. We'll just uh, set you there for now. You've done a good job for us, uh, Cabelico. We've done a lot of digging with that excavator, by the way. A lot of digging. Uh, you know, again, this uh, pile here, I think, started, what, in here somewhere, right, everyone? I don't remember exactly where, but we've dug all the way back this way here so far, so we are, uh, we're doing some digging. Speaking of digging, by the way, when I do actually want to maybe see what's about lowering this down a little bit more, because uh, when I built this pad, I mean, I kind of built the pad at this level, which, like, you know, buckets width deeper, kind of annoying. We're going to park you up here. Level here. Oh, it's not perfect, but you know what? Go a little bit further. Hey, there we go. Now we're good. We're good. Okay, let's give this a quick try before we go uh, take care of the train here a minute. Uh, we need to get this uh, turned on. Let me hide the hood here a minute. So we need, we need to set our output here a minute. Um, so we're doing gravel. And then for actually output, actually, I think we had to go this way, right? There we go. Yep, we're doing coal. So coal is our output material. Our painted material is still gravel. I yeah, know it's not quite right of one, but anyway. Uh, so we should be good to turn this on, right? And also, course play. I'm sorry, course play. You need to beat it. Course play is not a good thing to have um, you know, activated while you're doing an excavator, most likely. Okay, let's see what's how we dig, everyone. Let's see how it goes. Nothing. Oh, you know what? That's because we need to switch you over from material to lower. Now let's see what's how it digs. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> a little rough, I went a little rough. Still learning. Oh, well, that takes a second to empty. Okay, I have a little more patience with the emptying this one, apparently. And holds. Oh, I thought it was 10,000 liters in the bucket. It holds 13,000. So that means, uh, doing some math here, yeah, we can fill a truck in four buckets. Yeah, four buckets. Actually, not quite even four buckets. There we go. 13,032. Don't know what's up with the 32, but okay. Well, let's uh, stop here real quick, my one, because this is not working. Why are you not working? Are you picking this up? Oh, there he goes. You just need to be turned on, I guess. Now I'm stuck down here. There we go. That's working. That's emptying. Perfect. Let's go take care of the train here a minute, everyone. I was hoping to do more digging in this episode. I want to you know, get our excavator out, but um, one, it did not uh, occur to me it would take that long to get the excavator up there. I was hoping to just throw him on the trailer, and yeah, that uh, that did not go so well, and then, uh, well, then the train station's full, which, when you think about it, doesn't really hold that much. How come I cannot? There we go. And, of course, there's only three cars on the train. I mean, only three cars that actually hold material, too, yet. Don't quite get that one. You think, like, more cars that hold, like, loose material. But, no, we got one, two, three. We got three log hauling ones and one flatbed one. Okay, we want... Coal. Where's the coal at? Oh, there we go. I'm going to assume that's our problem. I mean, at least I hope it is with not being able to empty. Uh, it looks like I'm guessing we have the sand in here as well. Although that doesn't add up to a half a million. I mean, which I think is what this holds is a half a million. So I don't know. 
Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? Okay, that one's full. Back that up here a little more. I think this is the one that holds the most, if I remember correctly. One of these, one of these har cars holds a lot more than the rest. Oh, wrong button. I'm not sure what all the buttons on the joysticks do, to be honest, Evan. Uh, I, for those of you who haven't seen, by the way, I am running dual joysticks here, which oh, reminds me, I forgot to grab my camera here. Oh, well, we'll probably get the camera here next episode, Evan, and you can see the dual joystick action a little more here, because we'll probably hopefully be doing some digging next episode. At least that's my plan, anyway, Evan. I was hoping to do that here this episode, but, uh, yeah, well, you know, spent too much time getting the excavator up there, I guess. Okay, that one's full, and then fill up the last one here. Okay, to the comments here, Ellie Superheroes was saying super video. Okay, thank you very much for that. Hetro was saying good video as well. Uh, thank you very much for that. And then uh, a couple comments here from uh, this last episode. I think it was actually episode before. I mean, I should have read this here last episode when we bought the excavator here. But uh, I had a couple of folks saying I should get the Volvo 950. So, uh, of course, as you folks seen, that's obviously not which one we got here. Uh, and then I did not read those comments here until today. Uh, don't worry, but we'll definitely get the Volvo uh, train. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, we'll definitely get the Volvo here at some point over the 950. I figure we're going to hold off on that until we get up to the gold mining, hopefully. Uh, for one, actually, you know what? I don't think that excavator was that expensive, was it? It probably should be of them, but in the game here, it's not super expensive, I don't think. I think that was actually a little bit cheaper one, wasn't it? And always remembering the, the trick I was, what category was that one under here again? Because we've got like a couple of different categories here. There's a couple of the big uh, front loaders and stuff, but not the excavator. I think that was under this one, I think. Yes, there's the 950. So like I said, that, that one actually is not that, it's 150,000, which uh, if I had to guess, I mean, that's probably not realistic, real life pricing. That'd, that'd be my theory anyway. Uh, did you finally finish emptying? You must have. I don't see him there anymore, am I? Is he there? No, I don't think so, is he? Oh, wait, no, he is too here. Okay. I haven't seen him on the map. Gonna empty? Yep, I think he emptied. He's empty. Yes, he is. Yeah, these trucks like instant empty ovens. <laughs> they are, uh, yeah, they're a little OP in that uh, regards. Uh, oh well. Uh, do you like need more yet? Uh, yeah, he needs quite a bit more yet. I guess we better get digging, Evan. We had better get digging. Also, are you not like able to reach us up here? I wonder. Well, let's get to work. Let's uh, get this excavator moving. Well, I, mean, I thought it felt like it was a little bit faster down at the shop, but uh, at least as far as the uh, turn speed, it is not faster, I don't think. Also, the bucket doesn't empty out super quick, does it? I'm not used to that. I'm used to being able to, uh, with the other excavator, just pretty much dump the bucket. It's like, well, maybe not instant empty of them, but it's like, it's empty, right? Now, this bucket does hold, like, twice as much, so that probably has a little bit to do with it. Also, why are you not empty? I know I gotta keep having to get in you to turn you on. That's kind of weird. I don't really remember that being so much a thing. There we go. Now, well, we should have no problem uh, keeping up with the uh, dump trucks here now, one. Uh, speaking of dump trucks, I think... Uh, some of our next investments are probably going to be more dump trucks. What we need, though, one at this point, now that we got the dump trucks, we need, uh, I think, a better cell point. Because, uh, yes, yeah, so, well, we can use the train. The only problem with that is that train only holds 500,000 liters. The train itself actually only holds, was it 300,000? I think it was 300,000, right, everyone? Or something, somewhere in there. Like every 300,000 liters, everyone, we got to stop and, you know, fill that up. That's kind of annoying. We need a cell point we can just like straight sell to. 
And if we just spent like an entire episode just like straight up digging, I would, oh my, that'd be kind of fun if you ask me. Just see what's how much we can actually dig out in one episode uninterrupted. This excavator does not feel as fast, I don't think, as our previous one, everyone. Could be wrong in that, but it doesn't feel as fast. That being said, obviously it is holding like twice as much, but. And also, it does seem like we got a much greater reach. That's what I was hoping for, by the way. I was hoping we'd have a farther reach for this one. Because our previous one, I wonder, you can see that the reach, it doesn't quite reach all the way from one side of this to the other. Looks like maybe this one doesn't either. It looks like it should, but it doesn't quite, does it? We need to get back up on our perch here. There we go. Just empty that out. Yeah, it would be nice if the bucket would empty a little faster. That's the one thing I'm definitely noticing, which I'm sure is probably a configurable option, everyone. Well, with this excavator one, I definitely think we're going to be needing a bigger, well, bigger, well, maybe bigger too. I said more is actually probably the correct way of saying it. More uh, trucks here, right? I might have to look into that here next up. So the other thing is, like I said, we need a, we need like a cell point that we can just like straight sell to, right? Without having to have the train every time. Otherwise, we're going to have to stop and every, let's see if it holds 300,000. I think it's what the train holds, right? So every six trucks, then we're going to have to stop, unload the train station. Uh, the train station holds, they're supposed to hold half a million. I realize we weren't quite at a half a million here this episode. Well, that's probably because we got some sand. At least I'm presuming that's sand in there. Oh, that didn't even finish emptying, did it? Whoops. I didn't even catch that one. I'm used to the other excavator. You, you dip, dip the bucket. I mean, it's like empty, right? This one's like, hold on a second. It's taking some time. I'm not getting the bucket all the way full here this time. I might hold 13,000, so, yeah, close enough. Anyway, uh, speaking of close enough, it is high time to wrap it up here this episode. Uh, so we're going to come back hopefully next episode. If you folks have any uh, good suggestions for what to do with this coal, let me know. When. Um, why are you not working now? Are you, like, not in the right spot? Well, that sure looks like it should line up. Oh, I guess it wasn't quite, was it? Okay. That's kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, if folks got any uh, good suggestions for what to do with the uh, coal here, I mean, as far as, like, sell points or something, let me know. Let me know in the uh, comments down below what I can do with the uh, coal here. Uh, so that, everyone, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. We're going to come back next episode. We're probably going to spend the next episode, like, we're, we're going to put this excavator to work here, hopefully, everyone. It took me a lot longer to get this up here than I thought it would. So, uh, again, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.